Bits today. NVIDIA's upcoming GPU is two weeks away. Intel's 13th gen is even better than we thought. Ryzen 7000 is 5.85 GHz. RTX 4090, 4080, and 4070 launch schedule, and Intel's desktop ARC GPUs have begun. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we have way more information on NVIDIA's upcoming GPU. If you didn't see my video on it, NVIDIA is set to release a new GTX GPU, specifically the GTX 1630, and it was originally reported to be released on May 31st. Unfortunately, in a new report from Video Cards, that date has been pushed back to June 15th. There isn't a review embargo, so it'll likely either release the same day as reviews or there aren't any. One thing that's really bad is that the card is set to replace NVIDIA's aging GTX 1050 Ti, yet it's reportedly slower, at least when it comes to memory bandwidth. We're talking the GTX 1650 is at least 72% faster. At the end of the day, I don't really see the point of this, especially given AMD's APUs are getting so much better. I guess time, as always, will tell. Speaking of time, don't waste another second and start learning a new skill. Whether it's video editing like a pro, animation, graphics design, and the list goes on. You can do it all with this video sponsor, Skillshare. I've actually been working on this Iron Man helmet. Well, this is just a faceplate, but there are other parts. I have them all. I've been working on it for a little while now, and it actually needs Arduino to move the faceplate. Well, there's a really awesome class on Arduino boards that should help with that. These are the kind of things you can learn on Skillshare. Not only that, but Skillshare is a great place for freelancers who are looking to up their game. Really, it's got just about everything you could ever want to learn. Plus, there are new classes that launch every week. And the best part is that the first 1,000 people who use my link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. So don't wait and start learning your new skill today. Next up, it looks like Intel's next-gen Raptor Lake is getting a bigger update than we originally thought. So far, we know that Intel's 13th gen is set to get more cores, but if this report is right, the company didn't stop there. Originally found and shared by Momomo underscore US, a MyTech motherboard has become the first to officially support Raptor Lake. And when we look at the specs, we can see that it supports up to 5200 for Raptor Lake S. Now, it seems that the company has since taken it down, but as always, that further proves the validity, if anything. What's wild is that it means Raptor Lake supports faster memory on current gym boards, so next-gen chipsets could support even faster memory. Next up for today, if you've been following the channel, you know that AMD recently admitted that the Ryzen 7000 demo, which showed one of their CPUs getting over 5.5 GHz, was stopped. In fact, Robert Halleck claims that most of the cores were getting around 5.5 GHz. And don't forget that this was a pre-production model, so we could potentially expect it to get even better. Well, according to Angstronomics and later reported by WCCF Tech, AMD apparently has a Ryzen 7000 CPU, or at least an OP encode for one, that has a 5.85 GHz F max, meaning the maximum the CPU can boost up to, depending on its temps, etc. Basically, we could be looking at an absolute monster of a CPU. That's over 800 megahertz higher than Ryzen 5000's highest clock CPU. Of course, it likely won't get that too often, but anywhere near it is still amazing. Plus, with overclocking, you could potentially get it to stick around there. Either way, AMD's next-gen CPUs are looking more and more impressive every day. Next up, NVIDIA is gearing up to launch their next generation of GPUs, and we actually have the launch schedule and more. Starting things off, the very trustworthy leaker, copi 7 Kimmy recently tweeted that 8104 is close to starting the test. For those who don't know, 8104 is the third best GPU from NVIDIA and should be used for the 4070, given that is the naming scheme. The test he's referring to is the validation phase after tape out, then the design phase starts where clocks are tested, etc. This is, of course, a really important time for the life of a GPU. It also tells us that we can expect the card to release in a few months. Of course, we originally heard July for 8102, and that's apparently still the case, as copite 7 Kimmy responded to a tweet about the possible launch strategy, pointing to NVIDIA releasing the 4090 first, then the 4080, and finally the 4070. copite 7 Kimmy even claims that this is confirmed. Basically, NVIDIA won't be releasing these like their 30 series, where they they announced all three cards at once. Instead, they're releasing them separately. Hopefully, they aren't released too far apart, but it does seem that will in fact be the case. 
And lastly for today, Intel's desktop Arc GPUs are incoming. If you actually forgot about the company's first real jump into discrete GPUs, I would understand. Having been promised for years now, only to delay the release time and time again, until finally their mobile lineup was unveiled. Unfortunately, it was only in one country with no reviews or much of anything. Well, fret not, as the company is setting up for the release. In a recent report by Video Cards, you can see a screenshot from Intel's website with a link that says Intel Arc A3 for desktop. Now, unfortunately, it has since been taken down, and while it was up, the link didn't go anywhere. But it's extremely clear that Intel is gearing up to launch their first generation of GPUs. I mean, if Intel's actually working on their site for the launch, it's likely days away. Of course, we know that Intel's set to release their Arc A3 first, and that's an issue because both AMD and Nvidia typically launch their high-end GPUs first. So Intel is probably still having problems with their cards. It's why they launched 10 nanometers first on Notebook with their Ice Lake lineup. Of course, this time it seems more to do with driver issues rather than yield rates, but it's not looking good. That, and we already know they plan to release their desktop cards in China first, so it won't be a worldwide release yet again. Regardless, it's an exciting step for the company and certainly not an easy one. Let's just hope it was worth the wait. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Intel's upcoming GPUs? Or are you more excited for Nvidia's next-gen cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to check out Skillshare in the description below. And as always, have a great day!